General Dempsey, I am truly honored that you have entrusted me with the vast scope of responsibilities of commanding, training, and doctrine command, and the honor of assisting you in shaping the future of our Army. The privilege of commanding such an outstanding organization as TRADOC, composed of some of our Army's finest soldiers and civilians, is truly humbling. TRADOC's motto, Victory Starts Here, could not be more true. TRADOC is the foundation of our Army. Our soldiers learn their basic skills in TRADOC schools. Our leaders are educated by TRADOC, and their formations are designed by TRADOC staffs. The intellectual foundation of our collective mission on warfighting, our doctrine, is written by TRADOC, and TRADOC determines the capabilities our future weapon systems must possess. While our operational forces, our battalions, brigades, and divisions are outwinning today's battles using the doctrine, training, and education and weapons that TRADOC provides, TRADOC is busy making sure that they will be even more successful in the next fight. It is an organization of unparalleled importance to the future of our Army and our nation. General Dempsey, sir, I stand in awe of your accomplishments in just over two years of commanding, commanding training and doctrine command. Inside the Army and out, soldiers and civilians see TRADOC stepping to the fore to lead our Army into the future. Rest assured, I will do my utmost to achieve, achieve your vision. Leadership is all about vision and team building. Your vision as the TRADOC commander charted the future for our Army in such a way that your initiatives will be our foundation decades after you and I step into retirement. You built a consensus that allows us to actually achieve important innovations that strengthen the institution and best position us for an uncertain future while simultaneously sharpening the edge of our bayonets. Jill and I are fully committed to realizing and building upon your vision and the foundation you, Deany, and the Bruners have laid here at TRADOC. I look confidently to the future of our Army in the Dempsey era. Thank you for your trust, your vision, your care for our soldiers and their families. On a personal note, Jill and I want to thank all of our family and friends and mentors who have taken time out of their busy schedules to be here today. Your support, both today and through the years, has been vital to any accomplishments or success that we have achieved. Many of you have traveled great distances at personal expense. We are humbled by your love, friendship, and commitment to our Army. I also want to thank Command Sergeant Major Dave Bruner and his family for staying on at TRADOC just a bit longer. I cannot express in words the value I attach to your advice and dedication to our soldiers and our Army. Thank you. A very special and sincere thanks to my lovely wife, Jill. More than anyone, you have borne the burdens of a lifetime spent serving the nation and its soldiers. I chose to serve, you chose to love, and through all that love, serve in a capacity far greater than mine. You and all Army spouses are truly the unsung heroes of our great nation. You serve and love our soldiers with such complete selflessness that our contributions are, in fact, the gold standards of all that is virtuous. TRADOC has been and must continue to be an engine of change within our Army. Leading and managing change must be a core competency of this organization. As we work together in the days ahead, we will strive to reinvest in those truly essential functions that define this institution. TRADOC is a great organization with a tremendous history in shaping our Army. We will focus our energies on those truly high payoff activities that matter most to our Army. At the same time, we will continue to set the standard in all aspects of leadership and soldier and family care. It is my deep honor to join our, your ranks today. I am committed to ensuring our team's continued success. TRADOC is critically important to the Army of today and to the Army of tomorrow. I look forward to shouldering that load with you and adding to the outstanding record that is TRADOC's historical legacy. As we move forward from today, we must always keep foremost in our thoughts and in our prayers the rationale for our existence, to support the soldiers around the world who are on point for this nation. Most of us have stood that same post and know the personal, from personal experience the burdens and sorrows that it can entail. Just as we were once supported, we must commit ourselves to giving more than our best efforts to support them. For some of, the, of us, 
This is a very personal commitment. TRADOC has hundreds of soldiers currently deployed in combat zones around the world. Our comrades and their families need and deserve the best we have to offer. As we go about accomplishing our daily missions, remember, remember them and their families. Stay in touch with them and support them. In a broader sense, we must support them by making the Army of tomorrow the best Army possible. That is one of our missions here at TRADOC. A strong Army is an incredibly impor important deterrent to those who would unleash mayhem around the world. The United States Army yesterday, today, and tomorrow stands to prevent those wars through the resolute demonstration of our strength, our ethical principles, and our determination to defeat evil. In closing, Jill and I could not be more honored to be here with you today. Thanks to each and every one of you for taking the time to share this moment with us and the entire TRADOC team. God bless you, the Army, and God bless the United States of America.